What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming. It is time for the continuation of our Let's Play series. This time we are going through all of the female characters in the game and we are also doing some full exploration. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Miss Lady Hunt here, the Demon Hunter, female version, and a full Let's Play. Don't know what I'm saying, let's just press Create Hero and go. All right, everyone, so say hello to Miss Lady Hunt. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and get cr cracking here. <laughs> cracking <laughs> with this, uh, with the Let's Play. So, yes, this is going to be another full exploration Let's Play where I'll be taking a look at, you know, all corners of the map. I want you guys see absolutely everything that there is to see. Now, there's supposed to be some upcoming changes here. <laughs> I don't know why I zoomed in. That was creepy. There's supposed to be some upcoming changes here uh, to the Demon Hunter. It has gone through on the uh, on the official on the official community site. Basically, the um, the talent calculator has been updated with changes. Essentially, the resource system is changing. You can see we've got offensive, de uh, discipline, and utility spells. It's changing to be that we're going to be having. F uh, I'm sorry. Hatred spenders and uh, hatred generators is how it's going to be changing. And right now, there's no generate. Hatred regenerates itself, basically. So there, there is an upcoming change, and um, I'm interested to see when that goes through. There was just recent a small patch, but evidently, it didn't bring through anything with it. And actually, huh? Interesting enough, the the blacksmith has a quest for me. Missing something very important. A cauldron of Jordan. I want you to have mine. For all the help you have given me. Okay, okay. So normally, when you when you first get the Cauldron of Jordan, you just get it, you know, through the through the quest that requires you to get it. It's when you help Leia, you know, uh, go down to her mother's little dungeon area and all that stuff, and then you get the Cauldron of Jordan. But since the uh, blacksmith is shared across all characters, creating a new character, I have access to him immediately, as you can see here. So there you go. Uh, pretty cool stuff. All right. So before we uh, move on through with this exploration, let's play. Let me go ahead and get Miss Lady Hunt nice and equipped here. Get her some of the gear that we've acquired thus far. Some nice two to four damage rings as well. We got a sweet two-handed uh, two crossbow. So yes, yes, yes. And we will be skipping the conversations this time uh, and the lore. Because I already did that lore video. And this will just be that full exploration, as I said. Look at her little, little Miss Miss Red Riding Hood here. We've been under siege for. And what is she wearing? It looks like she's going to the gym or something. Look at those. How are those not workout pants? That is just absurd. <laughs> those are some sweet Adidas that she's wearing too. She's looking sharp. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. You know, I mean, you know, Blizzard did this on purpose, right? Um, basically, I guarantee. I, I'm a hundred percent certain. During the beta, these rare items that they made them flamboyantly colorful just to pick at all the complaints about the color in the game. I almost I positive that that's part of the reason why. I think another thing too is that it's obviously, you know, when we're sitting with rare items, it's much easier to uh, distinguish this. That's one of the wretched Ooh, mothers. Got an entangling shot. Them in the ruins down the road. All right, so let me make sure I, I take some time here to show you, make sure we're showing you all the spells. And actually, I forgot about Deckard's journal thing over here, so let me get that. Deckard Kane's journal, because it gives me some XPs, yo. We have come at last. I'm not gangster. I don't know why I said that. Don't even pretend to be. Don't care to be. I think it's kind of silly. Overall, all right, so let's uh, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, so we, I show you, I showed Caltrops to you guys in the first Demon Hunter Let's Play. It's laying the trap on the ground. Um, enemies within 12 yards get that snare. Uh, that's basically what it is. Last 12 seconds too. And we also talked about entangling shot and all that stuff as well. But let's replace that with entangling shot. What I'm actually gonna do is we'll just put entangling shot here, and we'll change this to auto attack so that I can have that if available. Until they make those uh, hatred changes, rather than running the risk of running out, i just rather throw some auto attacks into the mix. Now, you know, I heard people talking about that in the past, saying like, well, why you know, people shouldn't be running into hatred issues, they should just be auto attacking. I think the problem is no other class has to auto attack. Every other class is able to just spam stuff, you know what I mean? So I, I, I think that it's silly to think that the demon hunter should be forced to auto attack because of 
um, resource starvation issues where no other class has that option. Every other class can co consistently be using their skills. They don't have to, you know, worry about running out because they don't, it just doesn't happen, you know, so. So, yeah, I guess like over spamming um, with the demon hunter or the, or the, uh, or the wizard would do that. I'm sorry, over spamming with the witch doctor and the wizard would do that, but that's not really happened. And something I really I like about the hungering arrow is the pierce through targets. It swings back uh, when it pierces through to, to automatically to another target. I think that's awesome. And then the entangling shot, of course, we've got the 130% weapon damage. It'll bounce off and hit up to two enemies, and then it's got that 50% snare. But let me try to spam this and see if we can get it. Did that go straight? Oh, okay, I was going to say. If we can get the pierce. See, look at that. You see? So it pierced through the uh, the wretched mother there. And then it went straight through to the next guy. I think that's sweet. Let's see if we can get another one to go through. Oops, that one didn't do it. Huh. Typ typically, it was almost always doing it in the past. I don't know why uh, it's not hitting someone else right now. Maybe it's going just like clear across. <laughs> Maybe it's going clear across the map and hitting people over here. That'd be a riot, huh? Probability zero, but <laughs> that'd be awesome if it was. All right, so we already know about this area. I talked about it in my last let's play how we got randomization. Uh, we got the main trail, but the randomization kind of on the sides of it. Let's go into the stamp cellar though. What? Come on, Dennis. Why you miss that crap? You an idiot. Why is this piercing not hitting other people? I swear that I saw it do it consistently. It wasn't just a pass straight through. I mean, I mean, I know the past few times I've done it, it looks like it just goes straight through, but you did see that one that curved, right? I mean, I'm, I wasn't blind on that. I seen it. I know you guys did too. Don't be yanking my chain. <laughs> That's an odd phrase for a male to say. It's a very odd phrase. All right, let's get that exploration going here. The a dead. They started to eat us while we a little slept. campfire. They are everywhere. Oh. Run. Yeah. Run. I don't even. Are they gonna come up from the ground? Now that you said all that stuff. No. <clears throat> oh, there they are. Let's get some entangling shot there too. Piece of cake. All right, let's see if we can find any other. If there's another dungeon over here, or anything of the anything of the like. There must be, right? There's gotta be something here. Level three already. Got some gloves there. Oh, there we go. There's another, uh, another a little damp cellar or something. Evasive fire I just picked up. So let's go ahead and get that right away. We'll get rid of uh, entangling shot. Actually, you know what? I've been spamming hungering, so let's let's do this. Let's replace. Okay. The F. Just do what I want you to. Evasive fire. All right. So we got a vase of fire there and entangling shot. So I'll be using those from now on. All of these chests are empty. Get some entangling here. You can see it bounce between the two. And ooh, that was nothing. What did I pick up? Anything? No, garbage, 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 garbage. It's gonna bounce off barrels. No, it does not. I like that sound effect though. A vase of fire. That sounds awfully like a gun. Uh, <laughs> why does that sound like a gun? Okay, that's kind of freaking me out. I don't think that's it's supposed to be sounding like a gun, but it does. All right, let's do uh, some exploring over here. All right, here we go, Anvil Fury. Watch this, ready? Oh yeah. That is going to be a Grimswald's Edge, or whatever. Grimswald's Edge. Whenever you find that anvil, that's what it is. It's pretty awesome. It's not that... Oh, well, okay. It's it's alright for when you're first leveling up, but... Um, you definitely find much better weapons. Uh, especially through crafting. I've, I've been getting some uh, from my Barbarian using 25 DPS+. plus, um, Which, for the beta right now, it's pretty good. I haven't seen anything. I think I saw... Uh, I think I saw a 29 DPS at some point for a one-handed, that's what I'm trying to say. I haven't seen the max for the two-handed yet, so actually that's something I should play around with on my barb. 
Wow. Entangling shots just tearing through these guys here. And Miss uh, Miss Lady Hunt is ready for her run, as you can tell by her Adidas and her sweet jogging pants. Let's go, Miss Lady Hunt. Red Riding, is that a zipper in back of her hood? Hmm, that's interesting. Never seen such a thing, a zipper, a zippered hood. Thank you. For your you're welcome, you're welcome. What did I get for that crossbow here? What is that? See, the four, yeah, 4.5 DPS, the one to four damage. Uh, should I replace my nine to 10 two-handed? Probably not, most likely not. Uh, actually, what I can do here, let's check out the Grim's Hole. I get, it's, it's what it is. There it is, yeah, so I don't really need that. It's not, it doesn't really do me any good. Um, like I said, I have better on pretty much all my characters, so. But I'm gonna wait, because I do want to actually just go ahead and salvage those once that's an option. <clears throat> I don't necessarily want to just Cauldron to Jordan them. I want to, you know, still save, try, still trying to save up those salvage materials to do some of the crafting. Uh, I plan to show you guys with the Max Level Artisan just some various uh, gear available. And actually, the stuff that's available way out levels. There's the level cap on it, a level requirement on it, and it far out levels what we can reach in the beta. So, <clears throat> I really hope that they add more stuff to the beta. I'm not. I'm not even asking for more gameplay content. I'd be incredibly content if they just added a PV, the, some of the PVP. Let her level, let, just let her level 13 characters play around in the PvP system, and I'd be really happy. Captain Dalton! There we go, help me bounce back there. Oh, too bad I hit the uh, wall. That's, again, junk compared to what I've got here. Chest, is that anything? No, not necessarily. Let's check the corner over here. I suspect... Check the corner over here. Uh, one thing I am considering too, guys, is I, I know that the last uh, the last Let's Play that I did, where it was you know slated to be the the lore one with the exploration, I understand that the voices were a little uh, a little low in comparison to my mic, and um, so I may very well do another lore full Let's uh, Let's Play, and just make sure that I adjust the volume settings and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And actually, I think I'm gonna switch this up here. Let's go ahead and put that there. Ah, there, there, okay. So we're gonna have uh, the entangling shot there on right mouse click and then, cause I feel like I'll be using, I want to use entangling shot more often than the one and it's just more comfortable to have it on the mouse button than anywhere else. That was a wonderful miss. And that evasive fire is awesome because we get that kick back there. It's a 135% weapon damage, and whenever anything's close, I get that little. Also, since it sounds like a gun, that's pretty awesome, too. But I like that. I think that's neat. I like the kickback that's available with that. A couple gold. No, I'm going to walk over for it. Ah, yes, level four. I think it's really funny how... Uh, oh, crap. I promised you guys... <laughs> This was a mistake. I promised you guys that I'd play around with all these spells, and then I get crap like fan of knives. All right, two to two damage. All enemies within ten yards, and then the the biggest thing obviously is the snare behind it, right? Yeah. But it's kind of garbage. So it's just it's really just all about the snare, you know. I should just be using it basically when I'm uh, when there's enemies right up close to me, all up in my grill. When I've got guys all up in my grill, actually, it could be good for barrels. Yes, it is. All right. I found a use for Fan of Knives, everyone. Barrel smashing. So this is where the star fell. I suppose so. All right, time to begin the full search of this area. I'm going to look everywhere, guys. Uh, people requesting co-op. That will come. Yes, it will. I've got some actually pretty exciting plans uh, for co-op. I want to do, oh, here we go, some arcane enchanted shits. Um, I want to do some uh, some stuff with some of the people in the community. You know, some of the other people who are making videos and doing commentaries and stuff like that. I plan to do co-ops with them. I think that'll be awesome. Also, some of the guys at Diablo fans, maybe uh, throwing in some co-ops with them as well. Certainly, most certainly. All right, let's, let us keep going though, shall we? 
So yeah, the co-op stuff will be coming, uh, you know, in terms of when to expect it. Expect these five Let's Plays with other various videos, you know, like I've been trying to cover all, you know, types of various aspects of the game. And, um, and then after that, we'll probably start rolling out those, uh, those co-op games. Alright, let's do some fan of knives, snare them up. But the, see, that's wholly unnecessary, and that's why it, it just seems like, oh, I don't really want to do it, because it's just a, another unnecessary step. Since my entangling shot here is just one-shotting them any who. There's nothing in there. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and throw some of the snare down though. There we go. Uh, it is you know it is good. I like the fact that it is the uh, AOE snare. Like it's gonna hit everyone around me. Let's see how. Much. Is there a limit? Is it safe? There's a limit. Nope. All enemies within 10 yards. So it's everything. So yeah, it's clearly not a damage uh, dealer. It's not a heavy damage dealer. It's just all about the little bit of a snare. Think of it kind of like a frost nova. Think of it like that. Some sort of a Frost Nova spell. Um, that nice AoE snare. Much akin to that. See, we got these fast shits like to chase me down and snare him up like this idiot. Why did he just explode himself before I even hit him? See, that's... No, the Jihad is not going to be proud of you, Mr. Abomination. That... That was just a taste, she says. Loving the barrel smasher. Fan of knives. Health potion, not really. There it is. Such a slow attack speed, but that's what I get for using a two-handed, you know? That's kind of how it works. So you want two-handed? You want massive damage? You get, you get slowness accompanied with it. It's nice that the uh, Fan of Knives is spammable as well. Hmm, I wonder if that's any good. Nope. Yep, so far one of the best barrel breakers I've seen. Anything else? Uh, can't, didn't find anyone in time. Get, uh, I do want to check up here though. You know, always remember, look at these bookcases, page of trainings. Quite a valuable commodity. 25% attack speed bonus. All right. I can deal with that. I can hang. It's bad there's nothing to attack right now. Come on. Give me something down here, right? Right? Wrong. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's my barrel smasher. That makes, uh, that actually makes doing that whole process a little less tedious. Alright. Level 5, too. Leveling, leveling goes, uh, much quicker when, you, when you're killing everything with that full exploration that we're doing here. Alright, so bola shot, I will go ahead and replace my entangling shot with that. Getting the bola shot here. 20 Hatred shoots out an explosive bola, wraps itself around the target. After one second, the bola explodes for 120% weapon damage as fire to the target and an additional 90% weapon damage as fire to all other targets within seven yards. There it is, guys. Fully explained for you. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, did you see that? That's another good barrel smasher here. Hmm. Nice. Very nice. Obviously, much more hatred at twice the cost. Bola shot is compared to the fan of knives. Thing is, they do need to be in pretty tight. You know, they need to be they need to be pretty close together to uh, be affected by that by that splash, though. That's a little bug. You notice that? Uh, grabbing stuff at this in this particular quarter, this little section here, when the downward stairs, this bookshelf always drops stuff on the high ground. It's quite odd, quite odd indeed. Tangling shot. See ya. Suckers. All right. Ooh. Anything? Nothing. Again, nothing. Nothing worthwhile. You know, it would be good, actually. Uh, fan of knives snare and then a bola shot to keep them together, you see? Fan of knives, keep them snared and together, and then bola shot. Because again, as I mentioned, the problem with the uh, the bola is that 
It's relatively small. Seven yards? Yeah, seven yards isn't really that much. All right, the only thing I missed right there, that's nothing. I, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get these guys from the high ground here. I think I should be able to. Oh, that one missed. Ah, crap. Just barely out of the range to get those guys. There we go. There we go. That's easy. Oh my god, Kane, stop crying. Be a baby. There's a little snare for you. We'll just go ahead and uh, toss some auto attacks down as well. And actually, I'll make sure I check down here too for you guys. Yeah, we see we just got a bookshelf, nothing else. And nothing out of the bookshelf. I've actually been getting pretty screwed with those bookshelves. I haven't really picked up much of anything from them. I need some more pages of training. Uh, so go ahead and max out the blacksmith. I might have, I, I think I actually have enough books as it is, but I just haven't condensed them all between my characters, you know? All right, so <laughs> we see the blacksmith here, but it's time to go help the blacksmith. He's in two locations at once. Hmm. May it be a doppelganger? Could be. There he is, huh. Odd. <laughs> odd, odd indeed. Just one of the those uh, conundrums you run into when you've got these games that are all about kind of replaying the same story over and over, and then you carry anything over like we do here with the blacksmith. These are the kind of issues that you may run into with something like that. Yeah, man, that splash damage range is quite quite low. Just get some snares in here. See if we can get them up together. To get some bola shot action together. There you go. That's what we needed. Perfect. My love, forgive me. Absolutely perfect. All right, she should be picking up vault soon, which will be nice. And the uh, level six also unlocks the um, next skill. So next skill slot. So we're we're almost there. Piece of cake. As always. I'm going, sir. I'm going. I'm going. I'll be checking out all the crypts. And uh, actually, first we got the whole big ex exploration area that will take place out here. So we'll have to see what we come across in that area. All right, take that, guys. There we go. Oh no, you let you escaped, huh? Not for long. All right, so let's go explore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. That was a good one. I'm looking forward to seeing the change go through. And in fact, you know, here's something else interesting too. I know I did the, um, ah, durability. I know that I did the, I started doing the skills, the individual skill videos. I think I, I kind of just wanted vid videos that were covering, you know, one skill at a time. One, part of the reason was to kind of space out the content a little bit since we do have so long until the game is released. But the other thing too is that I, I, I wanted, I, I liked the idea of the skill specific videos and just taking a look at this one thing and having that be the focus for the for the three minute video or however long it was. Uh, you know, but then the other thing too is that I just came into the realization that there's gonna be a lot of major skill changes between now and the end of the beta. And through internal testing or beta testing, whatever it is, there's gonna be some pretty major uh, changes. As we've, as is already evident, we've got the changes to the Witch Doctor Wizard through the weapon damage, uh, now, modif now modifying the damage for their spells. And, uh, and then we've got the Demon Hunter resource changes, and that's only after a short while of this uh, friends and family and closed beta starting, so. It's, I don't know, there's gonna be some major changes, so I, th I, I really, I, I'm gonna be holding off on those skill videos for now. Uh, I just don't think that, I don't know. Based on those two things, basically, it seems like I shouldn't be really doing it. All right, well, it's time to pick up Vault. Got that extra skill slot available now as well. So let's pick up Vault here. It's gonna go to level level two, and that, of course, is a uh, 10 discipline. That's my only discipline utilizer right now, and uh, tumbles 35 yards. And I believe this is uh, the apprentice. I am yes, too is. late. The blacksmith's apprentice is dead. I must Why do you have nothing on you? Shouldn't as, as the blacksmith's apprentice, shouldn't he have some sweet weapons on him? He's got a gloves and a cloth tunic and some stupid sash. Really, not what I was hoping for from you. No wonder you got killed. You had crap to defend yourself with. If you had some.